Hi you guys. Welcome back to Obsessive Crochet Lady. I'm Amanda. So if you are watched or if you watched my morning morning Monday makes video, <sighs> you'll probably recognize the scenery and the outfit. Uh, I decided to do my too much to do video, too much to do Tuesday video um, tonight as well, um, just so I can get it loading for tomorrow and all that fun stuff. Um, I don't have really too much <laughs> to show you guys today. Um, it's going to be another short video. Woohoo! So, craziness. Um, but uh, I just want to say I appreciate every single one of you. If you are new here, welcome. Um, in today's video, uh, which I call Too Much To Do Tuesday, I show you guys various items that I'm working on, I have been working on, will be working on. Um, like I said, I've been commissioned to make a couple things, so I've been really concentrating on those. Um, which, if you see yesterday's video, which will be Monday, which today is Tuesday, but it's Monday <laughs> that I'm recording. Um, if you've seen Monday's video, you will know that I did make a lot of commissions. Um, so I'll be starting some new things, which is exciting. Um, yeah, very exciting. Um, but as of right now, I only have a few things going. So you guys ready? Y'all ready to see this stuff? Okay, so first off, uh, where, oh, there it is is my bear. This is another reason I wanted to do the Too Much To Do Tuesday right now, because he is almost done. Um, but I wanted to show him, because I think he's adorable. So I wanted to show him. Um, I mean, he'll be done by Friday, so I'll be able to show you guys on Friday, but I just wanted to show you guys how he's turning out. This pattern is by Jess Huff. I did yellow eyes. I had my husband help me pick out the color of the eyes. So I think we did a good job on that. Of course, as all Amy Groomies, they are a little wonky, but whatever. I think, honestly, with her patterns, if you wanted to, you could put the beads in the bottom and not have legs on them and just be like little wobble toys. You know? Yeah. But he's adorable. Look how cute he is. The little bears. I like him because he doesn't look like a teddy bear. He's an actual bear. So he is done with um, a four millimeter crochet hook. Sorry, my shirt was falling down. <laughs> He's done with a four millimeter hook. He is done with I love this yarn in brown. Um. antique white antique white brown so he's just made with two colors it's a widow by yours isn't he adorable oh I just love I just love her patterns they're easy to follow excuse me I'm so sorry got the hiccups for a minute anyways um, I love her patterns they're awesome See how his head barely moves? It's like it barely wobbles. <laughs> so, uh, like I shared in the Monday video with the rabbit, um, the way you do them is you work from the front to the back and you sew up the back. And then when you do the body, you sew up, um, you crochet and it leaves a hole about this big and then you crochet the head to that and if you stuff it just right it will not have a wobbly head so it wobbles a little bit but it's not you know like a major flop so so with him I have his little feet tees to do his little feet tees I did start one so far and I have it like barely anything started on it um, and then I have the foot pads because uh, in this pattern is a little bit different than her other pattern and um, hold on one second 
My cat is going crazy at the door. He's constantly wanting outside lately. I don't know why. It's really weird. Anyways, so if you hear meowing, that's him. Digger. Crazy turd. But anyways, um, like I said, I have his legs left to do. Uh, this pattern is a little bit different than the rabbit. Um, you do the pad separate. On the other one, you do them together with it, but it's okay. So I have to do the legs, the pads, and then his little tail. And he will be done, which is exciting. I've already got the little paw pads done. So that when I make the legs, I gotta sew them on and then sew the legs on and then do the tail and sew the tail on. And he will be done. And it's so exciting because he is so adorable. Oh, so cute. So he is going with the rabbit. And then they are going with um, the granny square blanket that I showed you guys before. Um, move my fiber fill. <laughs> which is these granny squares which the pattern is by Maria's Blue Crayon um, you make all the squares and then you do 10 appliques and then you put the 10 appliques on 10 of the 20 squares and then you sew the squares together so these are going to be a blanket um, all these are done in Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn, except for this one is done by the Michaels brand yarn. Um, I forget what it's called, but it's the Michaels brand color. Oh, and then the, the sage green is done in Pound of Love. No, not Pound of Love. Um, is it? Oh yeah, Karen. Yeah, Karen one pound. <laughs> so, but other than that, they're all done in pound of love. Or, I love this yarn. Oh, goodness gracious, I can't talk apparently. <laughs> so that's gonna be a blanket. Um, soon to hopefully be done. I just gotta focus on those appliques. Crazy appliques. Luckily, she has a video tutorial for them. Thank goodness. Um. Next, I am doing a blanket that I have not done in a while, um, but used to make a few of them. I've made quite a few of them. Um, I was commissioned to make one, and then I've made a couple for friends and family, um, but it is one of my favorite patterns. I will also link this below. It'll be a video tutorial. It is the block stitch can see it's 3D. Let's see. There you go. I forget the name of the channel because um, it's a different, it's different. So, but if you guys recognize these colors, this is the mandala that I used for the um, creative grandma pattern. It's the mandala pixie. Um, I had 10 cakes originally. I used five and a half. So that means I have four and a half, so I'm just going to do this until it's big enough. Is that not pretty? It's a, it looks complicated, but it's a very easy pattern. Um, it is a seven row setup, um, and then after the seven rows, it's a three row repeat. Easy. It's literally, if you've done a shell stitch blanket before, um, you have your setup round, and you have your fan round, there's just an extra round, um, which is back post single crochets. Um, I have done it with back post half doubles, and it sticks out even more, which is really pretty. Um, but this one I'm just doing the half, or the singles. So, I think it's turning out gorgeous. With this, I'm doing, I'm using a Sorry about that. Hubby came inside from being outside. Whew, my hair is a mess. Uh, he's going to bed soon, so. Anywho. Um, with the blanket. Blanket, blanket, blanket. This blanket. I'm using a 5 millimeter hook. It's just a knockoff. I would like to get some more clovers, but 
um, which I found some online, which is cool. Amazon for like 40 bucks. Um, but, uh, I just have to get paid from these commissions. <laughs> some of them, some of them paid, but I will get some more clovers later. But, um, like I said, the knockoffs are good. Don't get me wrong. I just love my clovers. I can't help it. So anyways, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I've been working on at the moment. Um, I was looking to see if there was anything else. There's really nothing else. My hands have been hurting too. Um, and my right arm is trying to do what my left arm was doing. So I've been trying to take breaks here and there. So, anyhow, another short video from me. Look at there. You guys are getting shorties. But I hope that's okay with you guys. Uh, like I said, I really haven't been working on much. And what I have been working on has been bulk items. Um, yeah, just been, uh, last week I think it was, was graduation for my niece and my two nephews. Um, my niece, sorry, here. My, <laughs> my niece got, uh, she, uh, went from kindergarten, now she's going to be in first grade. Um, and then my second nephew is going from third to fourth. I think. And then my um, oldest nephew went from elementary to middle school. So he'll be a middle schooler uh, at the beginning of the school year. <clears throat> so, yay. Congratulations to them. Um, but going back and forth and doing all that, I didn't really get much crocheting in. So, yeah. It's been crazy. It's been crazy around here. So, Anyways, um, I said I hope you guys like this video, <laughs> like the last couple videos. Um, I know I used to do long videos, uh, but my internet, we had to cut down, so it takes longer for them to upload. Um, so I've been trying to do little short videos. Uh, I do the morning motivationals. Um, I want to try and do um, morning motivationals and then do afternoon motivationals maybe of like yarn motivationals um, like showing what I'm working on that day maybe to motivate you guys to keep going um, or I could just do that in the morning as well uh, let me know what you guys think uh, if that's a good idea or not um, cause I want to do those daily as well. Um, uh, want to really push out some content for you guys. I know I've been slacking lately. Sorry. Um, and then I still want to do the Made It Monday. I either do Made It Monday or Finished Project Friday. It just depends on how I'm feeling. Um, and then Too Much To Do Tuesdays. Lately I haven't been doing Whip Wednesdays. I've been kind of forgetting. Um, I need to get back to doing my, um, schedule, writing it down, uh, so that I'm better at it, uh, so, yeah, anyways, let me know what you guys think about my ideas, um, Thursday, I will actually have, actually, I will actually have, actually have a, um, book look, my first book look, woohoo, um, out for you guys, so, I'm excited. Um, I dropped my hook. So, yeah. Look forward to doing that for you guys. Um, anyways, I will stop yammering, and you guys will see this Tuesday. So, I hope you are having a great Tuesday, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys. <laughs>